Hi, I'm Dawn with Name in the Frame, and in this video edition, I'm going to teach you how to order prints. Right here from our main login screen, you will see in the center, Order Prints. Just simply click there to get started. And it takes you to Henmania. If you hadn't had a chance to meet my great partner, John, he has a cute little fun sense of humor and likes to make up words. Well, Mark Henman is the designer behind our great software platform, so thus, Henmania. Anyway, at Headmania, you simply type in your username and password as it was given to you when you signed up for the account. It is case sensitive, so make sure you keep that in mind as you log in. This takes you to the main ordering section. Don't worry about any prices being shown. This is designed to use with that end customer. So feel free to navigate through it with them. You'll first see our great locker room scenes. Our collage, which is for the NFL only right now. Our sport hangout pubs for all of our sports offerings. Our really popular stadium prints. And all those great artistic prints for families, couples, just a little bit of something for everybody. And we keep expanding more and more. As you go through, you'll notice that we have little sections to jump to through different sections of the site. So you can use that for faster navigation if you don't like scrolling. We're going to jump right back up to the locker room prints. Okay, here I'm going to show you an example of the Dallas Cowboys. Um, you'll always notice there'll be a thumbnail of the team on the right-hand side. So make sure that you've selected the right team from the list. And on the left is where you put in all the personalized information. As soon as you click on a field, you'll see red text come up, kind of giving you helpful hints about that in case you ever forget. We're going to put um, last name in for a jersey, and you want to enter it just as you expect it to be seen. So in this case, jerseys are all in caps, so you're going to enter that all in caps as well. Then you have the option for the teammates that are on the locker room scene. You can choose any player from the team. This, the reason I want to talk about this now is we try to always keep the most popular teammates as the default players. In this case, Romo, Barber, and Witten. So though it's a great feature to be able to select the players, sometimes if you have those grandmas there and they don't really know what their grandson likes, you know, what their favorite players are. Even my husband, who's a Browns fan, I never know which players are in favor with him from week to week. You don't want to give the customer the excuse to walk away and say, oh gosh, I need to get back to you about the players. So if it's a great feature, but always assure the customer that these are the great, most popular players. So if they go with the standard, they can't go wrong. On the nameplates, though many of our catalog accounts only have the option that number one draft pick, you get to further customize it by putting a first initial and last name of that actual customer. This will make that nameplate match all the other um, products. I'm trying to change my mind there. <laughs> and then you get to pick your jersey number. Um, for those of you who have been with us for a while, this is kind of a new feature. You can now pick any jersey number. In the past, it could only be the ones that weren't currently being used. The only thing to kind of warn you about that, you can choose number nine. That's the same as Tony Romo. Might look a little goofy if you do that, but what's nice, your customer is boss. So whatever they want, they get. So I'm going to stick with classic number one. That your customers will have lots of ideas about what they think they want. Then you just simply click the preview button that's next to that thumbnail sketch. And depending on your connection speed, the uh, preview will show up in about 10 seconds or so. And there it is. Okay. Here your customer gets to see their last name, their number, and the players that they chose right there on the screen. Now, granted, it is a low-resolution file. Um, it does have preview on it, so make sure you reassure the customer that the one they get will be crisp and clear and beautiful, just like the samples that you have on display. Okay, if that preview is satisfactory to your customer, then you can move on and actually place an order. Down to customer shipping details, there's a PO number field. Basically, look at this field generically as what you would name the file. Think of it as naming you know, a Microsoft Word document on your computer. Um, it really is an area completely for your reference. All these fields here are optional, but it helps you to find that file, especially during a busy time, or if you need to reference it later on, 
you can find your exact customer's order. Um, many of you may be implementing um, incentives for your employees, so this may be a good place to type in the initials of the person who created the order. And then maybe you want to say Dallas LR for locker room. Okay, and you can type in the customer names. And phone number is optional. And so you can use this for anything. This would be a nice place that you could put emails if you want to capture that for marketing for later, um, but really just an open field. And I'm just going to type it as the sample for our video. Then you are going to just click Submit. Now be careful before you do this because once you hit Submit, you paid for it. So make sure you look at that preview very carefully. This is exactly what you want. Okay, it's going to let you know at the top of the screen that a new order has been submitted and it's gonna let you know what you've named it. Okay, and here you can also go right back and place another order if you're really busy, or we're gonna go ahead and check on the order status. Okay, as you can see here, um, the way they've been named, you can see all the order dates, the invoice number, um, the status. When it first goes in, you're gonna see received in production. Okay, and then in a matter of anywhere between 10 to 30 seconds, going to see the final file for download. Depending on the browser that you're using, either this will pop up automatically or you will need to refresh the screen. F5 is a little keyboard shortcut to do that or there's typically a, a refresh button on several um, different browsers. Okay, so keep checking those. When this comes up, you're going to get to see a full, the full resolution beautiful file. Then you have the option to print it in any size, the 11 by 14, shrink it down to an 8.5 by 11 or an 8 by 10. Um, you can even blow it up as large as a, a 16 by 20, though the recommended Epson 1400 printer that we have um, does not allow for printing in that large of a format. But lets you know that the, the file size itself is available for that. Okay, right now the file is available. And so, as you can see, it's right there on the right-hand side. It says download. I'm going to simply click that at this time. My computer, it goes through a little download file first. And it pops up using a preview mode. Um, this could be with Adobe Reader. Um, you know, your computer will depend on what program it launches. Here you can see the beautiful, high-quality images on the jerseys. You can see exactly um, how that might look in the finished printing. 